Well, Scott, it has been a very long time, hasn't it? What a cool watch, though. I, I love these Yachtman. Especially, it's got that beautiful, long, unfaded orange suite. Cosmetically, the watch is great. Bracelet's tight. Brushing is original. Loom is excellent. Hand is excellent. Um, interestingly, someone just... This is... This is a glass crystal, but someone polished the ever loving the Jesus out of it to make it clear, and they all they basically made it into a into a into like an old school domed hard legs. It's actually kind of interesting, uh, but the glass the the polishing job wasn't that great. You've got the sort of bathroom glass thing going on there, so I'm sure the ceiling surfaces are probably fine, but um, the rest it's it's not a great crystal. Uh, so I would suggest replacing that. No, it's a good watch. It's funny, you don't hear people talking too much about the Yachtmans anymore, which is, for I remember when they were, like, hot, like, hot, hot. But I still think they're hot, and I think everybody else should, too. I have one that I've been meaning to restore very nice gentleman in northern england sent it to me it was his when it was new and uh it, it's just it's beautiful not quite as nice as this though i should rebuild that yeah it's looking clean looking clean let me just Yeah, it's nice. Look, it's even got those little raised ripples around the angle here. Perfectly, perfectly clean stamping. Oh, it's an 017. Not that that means anything, but I just think it's neat. Don't see those quite as often. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, let me... No, 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 it's fine. Sorry, I'm just sitting here doing an evaluation and, you know, thinking about stuff. Case is pretty clean. It's a little dusty. I mean, it'll, it'll certainly benefit from a cleaning, and so it's going to get one. Good news, hey? I got the bracelet. I got that stuff. There we go. I'm going to be very curious to look at this crystal. Okay, your chronograph is running. Your systems all work. Okay, we got a little bit of a slow return, but that's not a bad thing. Ooh, it resets perfectly to zero, I think. Does it? No, it doesn't. It comes in. That's weird. In person, it's the sweep is completely centered in... On my camera, it doesn't look like it is. I must be holding it at an angle. It's absolutely centered. Hmm. Hmm, we had some pitting in this case. What's up with that? See, I don't see any servicing marks inside the case back. How would you get pitting in a case with a dial this nice? And the movement looks good too. Look, and it's still, it's still got some grease on it. Huh, isn't that interesting? Pitting, where did the pitting come from? How strange. Is there any pitting inside the case back? Oh God, that seal is old. Yeah, look at that. It just shatters. Okay. Huh, interesting. Your movement uh, ring spring is still good, which is nice. It shows us that things are okay there. No. Oh, huh. okay. There's that. There's that. Yeah, I don't see any... I don't see any servicing marks. Wacky. 
That's a lot of corrosion. Look at how deep that got in there. It took up part of the thread. And yet the movement's okay and the dial is perfect. That's really wild. Okay, let's get these out of here. Come on. Yep, old seals. Let's watch it. Let's watch it crack. Oh, there it was. Click. Come on. Okay, there's the other button, and same deal. Yep. Okay. Looks okay. It's at least the seals are original. That makes me feel a little better. Making sure I'm not missing something. It is time to begin. Mm -hmm. Mm, she's definitely a runner. A little hazy. Movement's a little hazy. No corrosion in here. That's good news, isn't it? Correct, there was 6138 bridge, which is good. Nobody's been mixing and matching anything. Yeah, got us some lubrication going on. And lubricate to this like a lot. Yeah, grease. But no rust. That's a good thing, that more grease. That's that's greasy. Okay, so let's clean it off. Whoops. Alrighty then. Let us get... Let's get this powered down. There is no lubrication under the cap tool. So the, the, the fine lubrication went away. Lots of extra grease up here. <gasps> Come on, dude. What? Oh, it's got the, of course. It's not going to, this is 6138. I got to go and make sure I turn that thing backwards. Otherwise, it ain't going to release. Yeah. Okay, good. There's that. Make sure you can see what in the heck I'm doing. Those weren't too tight. Hmm. 
see if I'm seeing anything weird. No. That looks okay. Oh, look at that. This, this the, the eccentric post for this second coupling lever has been jacked with. Look, the, 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 the threads are damaged. It's really... Well, I don't know how that's going to be. When I see this, that means somebody's been messing with it. And uh, that, I certainly hope they didn't. Because if you push one thing on the chronograph, you're going to, in the chronograph, you're going to start pushing a whole bunch of other stuff. And then I have to go backwards and try to put it where it's supposed to be. And make it like it was. Lots and lots and lots of grease. Yeah. Okay. So as always, whenever we pull a crown on a 6138, you want to start with the crown being all the way in. It's just the way you need to do it. Huh. Look at that. It's got uh, the gasket on the crown is still pliant. Uh, I don't know that it's the real deal. I'll pull that off here in a bit and look at it. Right now, I want to get this going. Okay. What? Huh. Your crown keeps on screwing backwards. That's... Wacky. All right. Yeah. Mm. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to go backwards because I can't go forwards because the thing won't tighten down for me. Oh, come on. Come on, stop that. Stop fighting me. Okay, so there's that. Uh, yeah, it's, I uh, know, it's absolutely, it's dead square in the middle. Okay, don't worry about that. It's fine. Static electricity. Really? Today? Now? The northern lights. At this time of day, this time of year, at this latitude, located entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Well, Seymour, you are a strange fellow, but you steam a good ham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little, little, little loose on there. Not a ton, but it's definitely moving. Okay. <sighs> Wait, why did I put that back? I need it. <laughs> yep, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hand. Original loom. <sighs> Very nice. I can see it from the back. Oh, come up. On, cut the nonsense. Ah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Gotta listen to something else. 
I've been listening to lots and lots of Lord Huron. Okay, where did I put that? Where did I put it? It's not here. Oh, well, I'll use this one. Good enough for what I need it to do. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to do that. Screw it. Where is that? I think my regular guard got... My regular guard got uh, lost. Someone probably stole it. Okay, so we got the black and the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, again, one more time. Oh, come on. Oh, is it the static electricity again? Okay, well, there's the first one, and then we can move the whole assembly up. Okay, there's number two. Okay, now again, with the static electricity, you don't want to get funky and start moving this stuff around because these hands will fly off into space, which we don't want. Okay. Mm hmm Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I had a gentleman write me the other day with a yachtman in this condition with this kind of loom. And he's like, I want to reloom it. I'm like, uh, you don't want to do that. It'll really hit the value of the watch. And I don't think that was the answer he wanted to hear. Okay, come on. Okay, why are you doing that? Oh, I see. Oh, come on. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. These dial feet are kind of squished, and so they're not coming through the plate. Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta extract. Oh. Your dial is beautiful outside, and inside's dated two four. So that's exactly right. Just one of them things, I gather. That's what I reckon. It's just one of them things. Okay. Just for fun, I want to pull your crystal. Break this thing down a little bit. Because I want to see the ceiling surfaces. That's pretty clean. Yeah, you got some pitting on the case there. A little bit there. I can't wait to see this crystal. Okay, there's your gasket. It's got a lot of, looks like a lot of silicon grease on it and it got pinched. Yeah, look at that. It's even got the correct frosted edge. This is actually a Seiko crystal. And someone just polished the ever loving but Jekyll and Hyde out of it. Wow, that's crazy. Ah. Uh, this is, uh, chapter ring is also covered in grease, so I'll have to hand clean that. 
And here is the case. It's, it's just a trip that the insides are relatively speaking so nice and that this thing has this kind of pitting. Wacky. All right, well, that's going to go into the hot thing, and we are going to go from there. Hold on just Okay, so now to the main attraction. <clears throat> that goes in there, that goes in there. Still trying to bleed off that power, huh? Okay, well, that's all gone. Still running. Well, turning, anyway. That's, that's a good sign, actually. Trying to run down that much power. Look, it's still going. It's a little gummed up, but it's still spinning. Gosh, how long is it going to take you to run down the power here, huh? Well, having this nice slow release is good. I can see all the wheels are in plane. Tight, okay. Come on, are you done? Unload. Mm-hmm, nice, nice. No deformation of the of the bushings for the reset. Ah, that's good. I'm gonna hand clean that, baby. Mm-hmm. Too much lubrication. There's some sitting on this, on the teeth. Uh, looks good. Feisty. I won't have it. Oh, it's got one of like the super complex hammer springs. Cool. I like those. I think they're neat. Uh, lots of lubrication. I'll have to hand clean that. Um, so let me do that and then I'll come back. And we're back to it. <clears throat> I had a little bit of a break I had to do there. I am going to be working to get us, I want to, the day is kind of not getting away from me a little bit, but I keep getting pulled away to do other things that I am not really wanting to do. Firm down. Holy cow. 
That's pretty rare to see. I, it's it's really bizarre. Wow, to see one of those screws set down that hard because it's very easy to screw them down too hard and then the shaft snaps off the head and you have got to extract the stump of the shaft. Well, that worked out okay. More grease. I see a hair there. Darn it, sorry about whacking that. Gosh darn it. Let's try this again. Ooh, loose. Entirely loose. Wow. Okay, lots of extra grease. That's okay, we'll get it out of there. Okay, we got our wheels. Oh, the most precious of parts. Yeah, oh, it's good. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Oh, is that grease or is that a... What in the heck is that? Would you go away? I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to just say it doesn't have anything to do with anything. You got a little scratch on your barrel right there. Not a big deal. Let's open this up. Hmm? Are you making a video? Uh, that's okay. I can stop. Yeah, it looks... Uh... Looks fine. Utterly normal. A little bit of S2 in there. Not a lot, just enough. Old and dried, but doesn't look too dirty. 
which is all good news. <sighs> Mainspring is dirty, but they're supposed to be. That is why we wear finger cuts. Come on, would you stop being a jackass? There we go. Sometimes they get a little bit of attitude. I have to clear them out. Anyway. Damn it. Mm, it's a little warp looking. It's definitely coned to hair. Let me clean it. Let me clean it and I'll look at it. And uh, we will go from there. So I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to hand clean this stuff. Wow, what the heck? What the hell is that stuff? Is that rust? Is that rusty grease? Huh. No lubrication there. It's totally dry. Okay. I want to find out what's going on underneath this calendar plate. Let me let me swap out my finger cuts because these are all gross. Oops, wrong way. Jimmy Hat's going the other way. Okay, I think that's fine for now. Okay, the day and date wheels are unfaded. That's good. All right. Okay. Where is it? Time for a bit of sharpening. I've got to replace this piece. Man. I just keep forgetting to do it until I'm using the darn thing. And I'm like, oh, right. I was supposed to make that better.
There is your, that's the 12 hour register right there. That's the heart, the cam there. Looks like it resets nicely to zero. Yep, look at that. Bleak. Awesome. It just looks like it's a bunch of extra grease. Okay. No of the rustings. Okay. Yeah, okay. Put that back. Uh, your jewel for the lower mainspring arbor is good. I just need to hand clean that. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's how you know the grease is good, when it acts like a glue or dampening agent. Hmm. Oh, come on now. There that is. Your teeth are straight, good. Okay, I am going to, I want to pull all this stuff. I want to be right on top of this, so. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all this stuff because I don't want these, these, Two springs especially have a tendency to go flying off into the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to leave those be. I'm going to hand clean all this stuff and we'll come back on the other side when we're solid. Uh, I'm almost out of time today. Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this thing balanced, dropped, and running. Um, just one thing I wanted to tell you, whoever worked on this before um, did a few things. They had to restake a couple of stuff, but also for some reason they replaced the three screws that are for the calendar on the 6138. This, this is, let's see if you can see what I'm talking about. This is a standard Seiko bridge screw. It's, you know, kind of flat, had a little rounded and it's, you know, whatever. It's, it's that long. These with the media blasted domed head which is slightly larger, also have a slightly longer shaft. These screws have the different heads specifically to tell the service person to make sure to put those back where they go. This person, they're just gone. They, 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 put, in, they put in, you know, Seiko screws everywhere, but these three screws specifically, which should have had that head, were not, were not there. So I am putting in three of those screws for you, uh, Seiko made that a little bit longer and to with a slightly bigger head so that they would grip, get a nice grip and really hold that, you know, that the top calendar plate firmly, especially because, pow, you know, power is going into it with the reset. Um, there's this reset. There that is. Isn't that neat? Okay, back to work. I am, I am beyond out of time. I think, uh, I think dinner is actually done. I don't know. I just want to get this running before the, uh, I just want it to be able to run in, uh, is the deal. So I got that right there. We can, I have the train assembled. Uh, it's, it's running smoothly.
And you can see it. Look at that thing roll. Isn't that neat? Wow, that's super cool. All right, so now let's do the thing. I know people do like it when I do the thing. Little bit of stuff. Let's get where we're going. Mm, hang on, I'm not quite sure who's walking in, but I'm gonna find out. Who goes there? Me. Oh, hey, how's it going? Did I miss dinner? Uh, no, I was just gonna talk about that. Oh, you were? Well, here, let me turn off this tape and listen to you. Okay. Jeez. Yep. Six o the clock. Set this one for a second. Okay. Come on now. Aha. I knew there was something funny. Not with this movement, but with my my uh, my little screwdriver. Truthfully, I need to get new ones. I think that's the deal. I just need to get some new ones. Jeez, oh, Pete, gosh. Oh, for goodness sake. Get out, out, thank you. Boy, it's been a long day and I am hungry. I just wanna get this balance dropped. That's all I wanna do. Okay, one, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's running. Isn't that a nice thing, huh? God, I've been off screen the whole time. I'm sorry, people. Uh, so, um, I'm probably going to trim that previous bit, maybe. Because uh, I had you guys off screen. You couldn't see what I was doing. But then again. Also, I'll let in as well. All right. She looks like she's chugging along. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let me demag this thing and we're gonna look at it. Okay, demag, let's do it. See what we're gonna get. Then I can go eat dinner. Unless I have to do some real serious adjustments. Well, it's pretty tight. Wow, those are some good, nice, strong looking lines. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me get rid of some of the, let me get rid of some of that gain and see what happens. Let me drop that back just a hair. I see. Okay, we still got a couple of bead error. Let me touch that, see if I can get rid of it. I don't think I can. Hang on a second. This thing popped out of its thing. Let's try that again. Come on, you can do it. I'm getting there, aren't I, huh? Well, I'm still at two. What's going on there? Come on. I just don't think the machine is hearing clearly. I think that's my problem. I got to block this out here. See if I can get a better number line. Okay, come on. Did that go up or down? This thing cannot hear. Hang on. Let me get this thing truly down where it's supposed to be. Oh, I haven't checked the calendar position either. <laughs> okay. Finally, it appears that it can hear. Okay, and it looks like I went too far. Come on, tighten up, tighten up for me. Huh. Yeah, okay, now I've got to make it go a little faster. That's too fast. Let's get her to flat, come on. Okay, that's it. It's dinner time. I'm done. I'm out of here. Where is my dome? Dome, dome. Oh, there you go. I see you. Oh, you're the broken one. You stop that. You're not much better. Darn. <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna let her run in, I'll revisit, maybe later on, maybe tomorrow. But I wanna get this thing running and tested, so I'll probably come back here, maybe and assemble tonight and see how the numbers are looking. But I really do like to just let it run in overnight. Then I assemble tomorrow and then I can do testing and stuff. And the next day I can see how things turned out and we go from there. Okay, that's all. That's brand okay, it's a bit later. Uh, I flipped the moving over, um, and I saw that, as I suspected, it was in the middle of pushing over the day and day change. 
<clears throat> so I wanted to flip it and see what kind of numbers we get uh, after pushing over from 12. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. There, you see that? See that signal? Now the machine can hear a little bit more clearly. Okay, well, I don't have any fears about this one. Now, I, now I'm, 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 I'm done. Look at that. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it's time to get on uh, putting her together, huh? Okay, folks. Yeah. Excellent. Going to be a good day. Yeah, that's nice. Good. I mean, this is those are great numbers, and the thing's already like twelve hours down. Kick ass. Okay, uh, let me get going. Okay, and now it is. Well, it's today. It's not yesterday anymore. So this is about, this again is overnight now, so this is about, again, 12, 14 hours. So it's not a full power, but it's accurate and it's strong and it's beautiful. A beautiful watch. Okay, let me put on the bracelet and I'll talk about this one. Okay, Scott, there it is. Watch number one. It's just, you know, you don't, you just don't get to see these in this kind of shape anymore. So there it is. That's with one of our crystals on it that has not been polished to death like your original one was. Um, so that's what it looks like when you can really see it. Look at those beautiful unfaded colors. It's the sweep. That's the thing, that beautiful sweep. Not to mention the gorgeous original loom. It's a really nice watch. It's a really nice watch. Everything's all sealed up as clean as I can make it. Uh, the pitting is still there, but it doesn't have anything else in there. It's literally, it's just metal. Um, I put in, obviously it's got new seals and uh, I made sure to grease up the case back one pretty well to try to deal with the pitting, but I don't think you're gonna take this thing surfing anyway. That is one heck of a watch. Okay, and uh, I'll have a second video here in a bit for your 6309.